You know, I love them, but sometimes they can be really noisy and completely mess up your whole place. But they need a safe space too. No, I'm not talking about your kids. I'm talking about your pets. Welcome to Chic and Cozy, where we take home seekers around Singapore to find that perfect tiny space. Hi, I'm Hansel and I'm a copywriter for an ad tech company in Singapore. Um, I'm Jing and I'm a manager at a local app startup. And these are our extended family members, Aki and Taco. We actually first met on Tinder. His profile picture had his dog and mine had uh, my dog. So on our first date, actually, we took the dogs out together and we went on a 12km trek. Then from there, we actually saw how each of us treated uh, our own dogs. And then I think that's how the love blossomed. Yeah, and everything we do, like even with regards to finding a house, we have to consider first our dog. We're actually getting married next year, so looking for a perfect home where we can stay together with our furry kids. It would be good if the place has more windows, so there will be more natural light where the dogs can bask under the sun, and she also can do her yoga in a bright and open spacious area. Uh, I think it would be good if nearby there are some parks or areas that we can walk, because with them we have to walk almost two to three times a day. Hey guys! Hi! So good to finally meet you. Yes, so you are the dog people. Yes. <laughs> uh, looking for a place that's perfect for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we are at the first place. It's an EC in Chua Chu Kong, and it's right in between the Tech Y and Kiat Hong LRT station. And you guys are going to love this. We're right near Brickland Road, which has some forested oh. area oh, okay. for your dogs to run around. Yeah, that'd be perfect. We can bring them there. Yes, exactly, and have some fun. Okay, ready to see the first place? Yeah, yes. definitely. Okay, come on, I'll follow you. Okay, my dog-loving friends, wow. come on in and take a look, feast your eyes. Okay, so the first things first is we have this huge uh, niche right there, which I love because you can put whatever you want there. They have a potted plant. It kind of sets the tone for the whole place right when you walk in. Room for your shoes right there. Vertical storage. Wow. So you probably have like dog, uh, you know, treats, yeah. think toys <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, we can hang the leash inside there. Exactly, yeah. and it's deep, so there's yeah. plenty of room for mm. all that stuff. And let's take a look at the living room. So this couch here will fold out into a bed. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh. the dogs can sleep on it. Nice console here built into the wall. Everything's hidden, all the wires. So out here you have a huge balcony, actually, yeah. for the size of the place. It's yeah. quite big. Big enough for you to do yoga. Yeah, 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 it's pretty good and the dogs can bask there also. Do they get in the way of your yoga? No, they'll they like, just lie beside me. They Sometimes will. they'll like tap me. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's take a look at the kitchen. The kitchen is open to the whole place, as you can see. There used to be a wall right here separating the kitchen from the living so room. they hacked it off. They hacked it. And you've got custom countertops. You've got the L shape, then moving out into an extended countertop for dining. So you can have friends over and you've got your area where you can sit down and have a nice meal and enjoy it. So you'll see we do have more flush cabinetry down here. Plenty of uh, room for whatever you need to put. Do the dogs run around when you guys are cooking? No, no, they will just sit there and then like wait for us to drop something. Oh, so I see. So you do give them treats from the no. uh, stove top from no, time to time. No, I won't, I won't. But they will still try in case I drop something. Well, the good thing is these are induction cookers, so uh, look, I've never heard of a dog catching fire from a stove, <laughs> but you never know. This is a safer way to go, right? Yeah, exactly. We have a drop-down false ceiling here, which enables for beautiful cove lighting, as you see right when you walk into the uh, big wide open space here. And take a look at this, guys. Massive wide open space that you have here. It looks so spacious and so big. All it's, our dogs can just run around. Exactly, they can go run in circles and circles, just have as much fun as they want, throw the toys out here. You can even actually probably throw a tennis ball and let your dog <laughs> go fetch it. Exactly. This used to be three rooms and they just hacked it out and said, hey, you know, let's make a nice wide open space that you feel like you can breathe. And because of the false ceiling, they were able to put in a great feature that you guys can definitely oh, use. Wow. Look at that. You can close the room off and one of you can watch TV while one of you is sleeping or one of you is doing office work and it really separates it because we have this hidden oh. within. I even tell that there was a yeah. sliding door behind that. 
beautiful office here. I really love what they've done. They've got, you know, the natural light coming in and it just looks like a gamer's paradise. It looks perfect. <laughs> I will totally imagine myself sitting there. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Me too. And I love it. It's like the adjustable table. Yeah, the It is the adjustable. Yeah. Electronically adjustable. So, uh, do you like to stand up sometime when you're yes. working? Yes. Yeah. To... I eat. I want to stand. <laughs> <laughs> to burn those calories. <laughs> Master bedroom. Very minimalist, mm -hmm. and that's what you guys are looking for, yeah, that yeah, modern yeah. minimalist look. You've got backboard, um, kind of like a, a headboard to the bed. Mm -hmm. Gives a little texture, you mm -hmm. know, so the wall's not so bland. Plenty of lights, so if you want to leave it, you know, you go to sleep at night, leave the curtains open if you want to wake up to nice, yeah. you know, yeah, beautiful she loves, sun. She loves the sun. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need the natural light to yeah. wake up. <laughs> nice bed, and it's floating with the cove lighting underneath. I think at night it will look very nice. It does. Even if the dogs come beside us, sometimes they like to come up right. and wake yeah, us, yeah, us, us up. Pet yeah. them. You can yeah. pet them, yeah. yeah. And you have the AC, which is hidden by a wooden grill, which adds to the whole flush look. So this is the master bathroom, and this is the guest bathroom, or the dog bathroom. <laughs> what I love is no space wasted. Look at this. Oh, wow. Deep cabinetry. Put whatever you need in there. Yeah. Can put the toiletry. Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. Master bathroom. Oh. Simple, but really nice. You got that black and white look. Yeah. Again, you have a hanging ladder here for towels. An above the counter sink, which adds a nice design. Yeah. And then the rain shower, nice fixtures. Kind of like a hotel yeah, or something. Exactly. The hanging soap. It looks which, very much like a boutique hotel. Exactly. Yeah. A boutique hotel. Yeah, That's boutique exactly hotel. right. Exactly. Minimalist, right. clean, yeah. So here's our second bathroom, and they are side by sides. Pretty much the same thing, except the difference here is you have sliding glass storage. Slightly bigger than the master, a little bit bigger, but it's good for when we have to wash, shower the dog. Yes, everything. exactly. Yeah. So you guys have one to shower yourselves, yeah. and then separately <laughs> with the dog hair yeah, and everything, okay, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think for me, I really like how spacious it is and how they manage to convert. This is just like a three room, but it just looks huge. So the dogs can really like run around the house. And I like there's a balcony like where we are standing now because my dogs really like to sun tan. I don't know why they like to sit under the sun. So I think it's good that they can still enjoy it. Just the TV console is a bit low because it's almost to the ground. So our dogs might be able to jump up and like chew on all the stuff. Other than that, I think the whole place is perfect. Okay guys, so our next place is a BTO in the mature estate of Ang Mo Kyo. And I love it because the Kaboom Baru market is right across the way. You get your local food, your dogs can eat local. My dog, they eat raw food. Yeah, and there's a wet market nearby. I can definitely get some fresh produce for them. For sure. Do you yeah. eat raw food as well? Uh, no, definitely not. Me. Unless it's sushi, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, also there's Bishan Amokyo Park for the dogs to run around in. And if you go the other way, you have Amokyo Central. Get all your pet supplies. This place should be a great location for you guys. Let's check it out. All right, guys, come on in. This is the next place. and. I hope you like it. I think it's right up your alley. Uh, right when you come in, we have storage here. It's uh, actually DV box <laughs> plus shoe space. Ooh. I love this wall here. It hides the concrete of the HDB and it houses the bomb shelter. So go ahead, it's a tic tac door. Just press right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's totally hidden. Yep, yeah, completely. I can't even see. And it's a nice look. Looks like yeah. a very heavy door, yeah. but it's not. It's decently light. Yeah. Vinyl floor. Yeah. <laughs> Just watching the perfect, perfect, perfect dogs. Dogs. Yep. Yes. But it doesn't look vinyl. It looks really rich yeah. wood. Yeah, wood nice dark color. Yeah. We've got a feature wall here behind mm. the TV that goes into yeah. a wooden console. Uh, it's got nice cove lighting behind it and it's a floating wall. So they did that so it doesn't look like a big chunky block soffit mm. that houses yeah. wires. It looks like something nice, streamlined, meant to be there. You've got plenty of light in here, so your dogs won't have a balcony. <laughs> the table is so cute. You like it? <laughs> it is, right? And I like it so far, it's not totally flush to the wall. Right, they yeah, left so it the room. The, the dogs can just run. Around the back of it. <laughs> How big are the dogs? Yeah. As we move into the dining room, First thing you'll notice is this beautiful built-in piece that wraps all the way from the entrance all the way around to the end of the wall here. It's really interesting, the design of this whole piece here. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you'll notice, all the shelves, the dividers are angled. 
and angled in different ways. Yeah. Everything is usually just symmetrically straight out. And when you have it like this, it reveals different things at different times while you're walking by uh, whatever you have in the shelves. The door to the kitchen used to be here, but they moved it over into the middle to make it more symmetrical. And it's a glass door, keep the dogs out. So you're in good shape there for the kitchen. Yeah. You can slide it open if you want. We have a beautiful centerpiece table right mm -hmm. here. And what's great about this area, it's not fixed like this. If you want, you can take the table. If you have, you know, CNY, yeah. you have people coming over, move the table over there oh. and you can just put all the food out on it and have this an open space. Mm. Track lighting above, everything is accentuated by the lights. It's really a nice dining room. I think it feels very cozy. I love the, how the colors make it feel like a very warm place. To exactly. Dine. Let's go see the kitchen. Okay. Okay guys, come on in. Mm. So this kitchen is a closed concept, as you see, and it's closed with a glass door. Uh -huh. What they've done here is taken the wall out here. Mm. This used to be closed off of the wall. And so they took it out, they put glass in here so you can see the backside of the shelving system. And this countertop wasn't here. So now you have extra storage space because they took the wall out. They were able to put this mm -hmm. countertop here. You can store things in here, pet food, supplies. Yeah. We have gas stove, so you can keep the dogs out with the uh, door here. And oh, another great feature. If you look underneath, they've mm -hmm. hidden all of the electrical. Oh. So okay. your outlets, your switches, all hidden. And there's plenty of them along the wall. Yeah. I think what's really good also is this part is enclosed. So mm -hmm. like if you're doing heavy cooking or anything, like the smell wouldn't go out. It would just go out this way. That's right. Yeah. And when you have a, a nice place like that that's very clean, yeah. you don't want it to be, you know, wafting of oily yeah. smells, right? <laughs> and it's good that it's glass because I can always take a peek at what the dogs are doing outside. Right. right? Keep an eye on them while yeah. you're cooking. Yeah. Exactly. So, here we are. The first bedroom or study or whatever you want it to be. Notice we have sliding doors. I think it's good because like if the wind blows, the door mm -hmm. wouldn't slam and like scare the dogs or something. Right, and that could definitely <laughs> happen when you're up this yeah. high and you're getting the breeze that's coming through. So you've got wardrobe space here and the design of the cabinets, floor to ceiling, nice, so mm -hmm. a lot of space. Convenient for all our, anything we want to do. Exactly. So let's see the other room and uh, see what you'd like to do with that. The next room. Here we are, it's the same thing, just switched around. The <laughs> cupboards are over here. Again, just do whatever you want with it. Uh, they have a pullout here for guests to mm. sleep on or to hang out and play with the kids. In your case, the kids are the dogs. The dogs. <laughs> okay, on to the master. All right, here it is. So, right away what I like is that because it's the master bedroom, they have a master size door, right? So the sliding door is twice as big, right? If you take a look behind at the frame of the door, all the frames in throughout the whole uh, unit have been covered up. And here's your bed. It's cozy. It's tucked into this uh, headboard, which is built in with a nice strip light on top, give it a nice accent. So storage under the bed as well. So, you know, drawers pull out. So that's a good thing. Now we're going to look at the master bath. Here it is, a cozy bathroom, but it'll get the job done. First thing I want you to notice is the smart mirror. Cool, right? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> and an above the counter sink. And I really like the fixtures in here, um, whether it be the towel rack or the faucet, it's got a brass coating on it. Mm -hmm. And then if you look inside the, the shower enclosure, it's actually quite big. And you've got a sliding glass door to go in, so you don't have to worry about swinging it out and hitting your knees when you're using the toilet or whatever it might be. I think it's great. Also, they actually hide all the pipes. Yes, yeah. they did. And lighting as yeah. well. So it looks really clean and fresh. Yep. Yeah. And very minimalist, simple, gets the job done. Mm. Mm, I think for me, I like how this house feels very cozy. Like the style of the colours, they choose a lot of wood. Everything feels very warm, like a very nice place to live in. For me, I think it's mostly about the design and the colours of the house, yeah. Around the headboard of the, of the bed and then the one around the TV console as well. It's very soft but the place looks very bright, lah, even though they use a lot of dark colours. Could be one concern could be there's no balcony. So if I shower the dogs and they are going to be really drenched, I, they're just going to make the whole living room really wet. Yeah. Our 
our final destination, guys. We're in Geelong Baru, and unfortunately, there's no dog parks around to walk your dogs and have them running everywhere, but there is a river, oh, nice. and a lot of people like to go walking there. You're gonna absolutely love it. Don't jump in, though, because we have a <laughs> swimming complex right there, okay? Uh, so this is a three-room HDB flat, and it's inspired by a New York loft. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. I've been to New York quite a few times. I love it. All right, follow me, guys. Let's see it. Here it is, our final place. New York style loft. I love it. It's a small space, but so well designed. See this red brick wall here? This would be uh, one by one, bricks put in, and we've got great floors. Your dogs are gonna love these. They can run and then slide. <laughs> the couch area, I just love it. It's just perfect for you guys to snuggle up, you know, sit down and family time with the dogs. Behind you guys, this open space here used to be all walled off. Oh. So they've knocked it out and just made it feel like you have so much space even though it's only 700 square feet. Oh, this is only 700? Yeah. Oh, wow, so it's smaller than all the previous ones. Yes, but it doesn't yeah, yeah. feel like it. Yeah. It's still giving you that open space. Then you've got this massive kitchen here. Yeah. It's a beautiful kitchen and it's also a very functional kitchen. So the first thing you have right here is the dining table. Grab a seat, enjoy what it'd be like oh, wow. if you were to <laughs> sit down and maybe have a little dinner here and maybe conversation with some friends, right? Yeah. And really nice track lighting. It's not all black. The track is black and then you have a brass colored fixture. Behind you guys is a really awesome feature wall. That's called uh, Cement Screed. So it really adds a lot to the kitchen as far as visuals, aesthetics. It's a very edgy look. Yes. Yeah. New York, right? Yeah. New York style. Yeah. You have everything you need all right here as well. You've got your induction hob, safe cooking with the dogs in the house. We've got huge nook that runs almost the whole kitchen. Lots of storage space underneath and along the uh, walls here. Huge drawers, massive drawers. Actually, it reminds me a bit of an Airbnb, like a whole long table, right. and I can imagine everyone preparing their food or doing yep. stuff here. Exactly. Love how tall the shelves and the tables are. Right. So that when we put the stuff, the dogs cannot get near to any of them. That makes yeah. a great point. We also have hidden on the back side that nobody can see it is a washer. Oh. Nobody's going to see that the washer is running. You have a sink which is on the outside of the bathroom there. Mm. So it creates space inside the bathroom uh, for doing your business comfortably. Right? <laughs> so then you come out and you can wash your hands. So this would be your office. Wow. wow. It looks so vibrant. It is, right? Yeah. Nice blue accent wall here and really cool furniture. I don't know if this would be a problem with the dogs bothering you while you're working. I think it's okay, um, but if we're having a Zoom meeting, then probably the bed is behind and the dogs <laughs> might be jumping on the bed. Right, I can see how that could be an issue. But what's really cool about the partition here to the bedroom is that they've built up for storage under the bed. This also doubles as a great oh, bench seat, nice. so when the glass is closed, there's room here for your guests to sit. Yeah. The bedroom. Wow. Very cozy it is. So you guys are standing right now on storage space, as you can see. Everything opens up. You guys are going to need storage space, and you got the big bags of dog food. <laughs> if you look at the headboard, it looks like leather. Yeah. Right? It's not leather, but it looks like it. So it really gives a warm, uh, classy feel to it. Cute end tables, right? Yeah. Actually, it's super <laughs> nice. It's so nice until I worry that my dogs will bite. <laughs> They'll eat the end tables? Yeah, they would. They <laughs> They'll would. become smaller and smaller? Yeah. <laughs> it will shrink. Let's take a look at the closet. I love this part about the unit because it's a walk-in wardrobe. This is a cool feature. A full-length mirror. Oh, nice. Which you guys need, right? <laughs> Everybody yeah. needs a mirror before yes. you go out. You want to know what you look like. So it moves, too. Oh, so interesting. You've got more storage space behind here. Put all your watches or your jewelry, mm. whatever it is. And then really nice lighting, mm. just like the bed that yeah. you noticed over there. Sink is outside the bathroom again. So we've got more space inside the bathroom. And this bathroom I really love mm. because it does have boutique hotel mm. feel. You've got the black and white check and a rain shower with all copper fittings. Mm -hmm. And it really gives it that rustic New York vibe. And you can see right from here into the bathroom, which is consistent with the whole look of the house, from office, yeah. into the bedroom, into the wardrobe, into the bathroom. A nice bathroom, you might as well feature it with a whole glass facade. 
The platform bed is a very good option for us because I like it when the dogs are close to us when we sleep. Yeah, so when we lie down, they can just snuggle right beside us and just lick lick our shoulders or just wake us up sometimes. Yeah, they can wake us up in the yeah. morning. <laughs> oh, I quite like how the kitchen, you know, the dining table is higher. So the dogs can't really like stand up to take our things. And the whole long hour there is really good for them to run around. For the walk-in wardrobe area, we can use that as a workout space. But I think it's a bit limited as well. Yeah, on that topic, I also feel like there's no privacy. So right, if my window blinds are open, then people from outside can look through into the bedroom and into the toilet. They can see me showering. <laughs> We've seen a totally open concept modern minimalist EC in Chua Chu Kang with glass partitions and hidden roller blinds, an HDB with a geometrically unique display feature wall in Ang Mo Kyo, and a New York loft style place in Geelong Baru. Now that Jing and Hansel have had some time to think about it, let's hear from them. Uh, I think for the first house at Cho Cho Kang, what I really like is they utilize the space very well. They hack down all the walls and I feel like it's a good space for the dogs to run about. There's a balcony for them to suntan as well. And even if I want to do yoga or workout or anything, I can find my own corner as well. I also quite like the workstation because with the glass dividers, you can actually segregate it so that the dogs don't come in and like disturb you when you're doing work. And I'm just worried um, with the balcony, if anything, sometimes the dogs may be playful and jump out at anything just to be very sure that no accidents can happen. For the second house in Amokyo, what I like about it is that it feels really cosy. The flooring is vinyl as well, which is great for them. For me, it's the closed kitchen. Because uh, sometimes she likes to do cooking, like can keep them out. La. For the location, the house is really near Bishan and Mokyo Park. So I think the dogs would really love going there for walks. So I think the location is a bonus. They have this whole highlight shelf wall. I think it's really beautiful, but it's not so practical for us because we can't utilize almost the first bottom few rows. The dogs will definitely try and take things out or knock things over. I think for the third house at Geelang Baru, it's really beautiful and unique. It looks like it came out of a movie in New York. So I think if we bring our friends over, or anything, it will be a really nice talking point for them. For me, I think it's just the overall colour scheme of the house. It looks um, really dark with the maroon colour brick walls and the dark blue colour of the master bedroom. They too like to sunbathe in the, under the sun and she also likes to do her yoga in a more open and bright space. So our favourite house is? The one at Cho Chu Kang. Uh, what I really like is that the space is utilised really well so I can imagine the dogs having enough space and us having enough space to do our own things, be it working, having our own private space to work or doing our workouts and yoga. And the balcony is just perfect for them because they really love just basking in the sun at least once a day. So I think that would be um, our choice. Even though there are small concerns like the balcony being open and the TV console being a little low, I think these are small issues that we can easily fix. Sometimes pets feel like a part of the family as much as any human does. So it only makes sense to get a place that's also comfortable for them as well. Thanks for watching Chic and Cozy, where you can live large by living tiny.